In this video series, we're going to learn how to create an animated visualization of the selection sort algorithm. You may want to watch these videos in the intended order, so check out the description for the link to the playlist. In the last few videos, we learned about selection sort, how it works, how to implement it in C sharp, how to randomly initialize cubes of varying height, and then how to sort these using selection sort according to their height. In this video, we're going to use lean tween within our coroutine to improve our visualization of the selection sort process. By the end of this video, we'll go from something like this, which works by directly changing the positions of our cubes, to something more like this, which uses lean tween to create a smooth animation, clearly showing the swap that is taking place. If we're going to use lean tween, first we need to make sure the asset is imported. You can import this for free using the asset store. Now we're ready to modify the code. The first thing we want to do is delete the code which directly changes the position of our cubes. This code will no longer be needed as we're going to use lean tween instead. Next, we'll add the lean tween code for smoothly moving cubes left or right to their new position. For this, we can use the function move local x, passing in the following parameters. First, the object we're going to be animating. Second, the position we want to move it to on the x-axis. And third, the desired duration of the animation. We'll do this for both objects that we're going to swap. To make things look nicer, and so that the cubes are not moving through each other, let's also make the cubes move behind and in front of other cubes which aren't moving. For this, we can use the function move local z, and we can make one cube move towards the camera by three units, and the other move away from the camera by three units. If we set the duration of this one to half a second, and then use the set loop ping pong function to make the animation loop once, the complete animation of a single cube will look almost like a semicircle from where it starts to where it needs to be. Finally, let's add another pause in the animation within our coroutine. This time, we'll add a pause every time we know a swap is about to take place, so that the animation has time to complete. Let's click Run to test this. Now we're done with movement. Let's have a look at how to use Lean Tween to adjust color. We're going to add a line of code that will change the color of sorted items to green. If we run it again, we can see the behavior of the color is similar to the clip shown at the start of the video. This leantween.color function, paired with the pausing of coroutines, can be used to replicate the colors from this clip, or even create your own color behavior. That's it for this video on using leantween to improve our visualization.